Hi there, this is Faye from Face World Media. I'm here to save you. What do you think of that intro? So I was very inspired by a video called Create Video Hook by Eleven Labs, and I realized I had to try. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create something like this for the first time. It's not just about leveraging these AI tools, but it's also about adapting a workflow. Because when you combine different powerful AI tools, what you end up with, it's really strong and this process can teach you so much. So let me give you an idea of the tools I actually used to create this 12 second experience. Starting with Adobe Firefly, inside which I use Gemini 2.5, which is Nano Banana to create the superhero a woman's image. That is based on a still shot from the video. To create the superheroes woman's video, I used Google's VL Pro account. I do mention pricing for all of them as well, about $20 per month here in the US. To create a transition from me sitting down to getting on a rooftop as a superhero woman, I used Mid Journey to create that start to end frame video. Then to edit together a rough cut, including speeding up parts of the video, I used Wondershare's Fumora. Last but not least, I brought everything inside Eleven Labs. By the way, as recording that this video, Studio 3.0 just got released by Eleven Labs, which means I'm able to edit the final video directly without leaving the platform. This means I can look up sound effects or SFX directly within Eleven Labs. I'm able to transcribe the video, which is not very long, but I'm able to edit word for word. If I made a mistake in the video, I can use Eleven Labs to regenerate based on a light voice clone. If you want to share this project with your colleagues and teammates, you can do that directly within Eleven Labs. You can comment based on timestamps without having to bounce emails back and forth. You can also export the videos in several formats. I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the end of the video. And right now I'm inside Fumora from Wondershare. And what I'm going to do is basically snap a screenshot of this. All I have to do is click on this camera icon right here and then just save this screenshot from either the beginning or the end of the video I'm currently editing. Then I'm going to basically import that into Firefly and I'm going to be using the Gemini 2.5, which is Nano Banana model. Maybe it can be a superhero. Let's find out. All right, so picture is snapped. Let's go back into Adobe Firefly. As you can see of all these general settings and models, I'm currently working with Nano Banana. And all I have to do is upload this image from my device. So Nano Banana actually works pretty fast. And typically within, I think, 10, 15 seconds, you will have an image. And what I also like is there a prompt feature, like you can click on that and you can turn into prompt suggestions if you want to type a very short prompt. That's actually pretty good. Okay. So if I like that, I can click on download or generate another one. Not bad. Wow. All right. I like it. <laughs> Even the hair is pretty accurate. Now, in order to access Gemini V03 and try the videos directly from Gemini, you do have to upgrade to the pro account, which for us here in the US is about a little over $20 a month. So now all I have to do is upload an image here and let's take a look at the settings, create videos with VO. And from here, I'm going to say, generate a video of the superhero woman, her hands come together and says, I'm here to save you. Let's see what we got. I'm here to save you. All right. So let's use mid journey to generate using a start and end frame inside mid journey. I'm going to click on create. And here I'm going to click on add images and select images below. So let me go ahead and select the beginning and end frame and images. Let's do that. I am going to use this one right here. Starting frame, me sitting in an office talking End frame, me becoming a superhero. So I am going to say her arms open and her start to generate power. She becomes a superhero with a city background. Her background changes from her office setting into a city background as she lands on the roof of a high rise. All right, let's go ahead and try that. Motion is high. All right, looks like the generation is now completed. Let's watch it together. Oh, wow. 
feel like I'm kissing the screen. This is funny. I think maybe I like this one the best. All right, let's go ahead and download this one. Oh, wow, even captured like Empress paintings behind me. That's pretty funny. All right, now what I'm going to do is come back to Fiumora and uh, I saved my project, which is the beginning footage that I was using. Let's open up a new project so I'm not messing with the existing one. Thanks for Media. Today, I want to give you a quick... Okay, so let's drop, literally drop it in here. Slow and unnatural. So I've been recommended to just beat it up. Let's try 4X. See if it's going to be fast enough. I almost want to say fave from face world media and then i save the world i'm gonna just export this entire video as is so check it out so previously when i need to edit videos together with sound effects etc i have to use something like fumora or final cut pro but luckily now with the version 3 of 11 labs uh, studio 3 i'm able to actually edit video directly inside 11 labs so let's log into 11 labs on the left-hand side, under products, I want you to click on studio and you can see that this is new. On the right-hand side, I'm going to start with a blank project and in this case, it's a video project. We're going to upload the video and then apply voiceover. Yeah. So I want this part to have some sound effects. So now what we're going to do is go to the SFX and you can listen to it. So you can also search for it. So in this case, you can search for super hero sounds if there's such a thing superhero landing okay that's pretty cool i like that so i am going to add the sound effect importing it and you can just move it wherever you want check it out so we're going to play it back hi there this is Faye from face world media i'm here to save you Oh, wow. I love the transition. If you're happy with the result, just click on export. And if you want to share with your team for further edits, you can click on publish. This sharing functionality in teamwork, it's already built in. So click on share project. And here you can change the access such as people can view versus people can comment based on the timestamp. Click on this link right here. Hit OK. Let's take a look inside an incognito window. This link is unique to you and your team, which is really cool. All right. So if you want to comment on any part of the video, you can click on the timestamp and then on this dialog box, click on new thread. Here you can enter your name and email and that segment will be automatically saved based on where you're commenting on the video. When you're ready to export the video, click on export and it will cost 21 credits. Let's hit export. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was my first attempt of combining so many different AI tools to create something that I really enjoy. Now, what can you do with these techniques? You can definitely create these viral openings. You can do it just for fun and to really spice up something that you are already doing. Of course, there's more than one way of creating these viral videos. So you should try to practice on your own. I also like the idea of creating these workflows, not only that it will work for this project, but something I really look forward to in the future as well. This also forced me to really access, download, and play with multiple AI tools. You'll notice that with all these tools that I introduced, things like Adobe Firefly, which now has access to many different models, not just the Firefly models, Gemini 2.5, Nano Banana, the VO2, 3, and there's so much you can do. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below, send your projects and your examples. I'd love to learn more. Stick to the program, trust the process. Don't get frustrated. And I hope you have fun and learn something along the way.